Uh, I need one of those. Let's go, Abs. Let's go, Abs. Speaking of the Colorado Avalanche, I got my sweater on. Stanley Cup in full swing. Okay, speaking of the Avalanche, we are in the high country now. That's right, ascending from Denver, Colorado at 5,280 feet above sea level, the Mile High City, up to basically Dublin, everybody, up to Leadville, Colorado at 10,200 feet above sea level. Yes, for the Leadville Marathon and heavy half. Why is it called the heavy half? Because it's not 13.1 miles, it's 15 and a half miles up here, which is why I'm coming up to cheer on my brother. That's right, Joseph is throwing down once again. Little, another little rust buster as we kick off the summer 2022 trail racing season. And speaking of trail racing, this is the highest trail marathon in the United States of America. And I bet it's one of the highest trail marathons in the entire world with respect to the altitude, okay? So you start out at 10,200 feet above sea level in beautiful, historic, old mining country here in Leadville. Uh, a lot of silver came out of these mountains about 100 years ago. It actually was almost gonna be the capital of Colorado. It was such a booming uh, mining town, you know, over 100 years ago at this point. So here's the deal. It tops out at Mosquito Pass, 13,185 feet above sea level. That is no joke, everybody. So, uh, but my brother, he's doing the heavy half today. I'm gonna do my best to capture footage of both races. Well, I'm fly, flying solo today, so we, we'll see how we do. We've got a bike in the back. We're gonna be pedaling around, cheering on these runners, and yes, of course, thinking about the avalanche as we uh, continue our journey through the Stanley Cup Finals. Actually, all right, qu qu quick, quick side story. When the Avalanche won the first Stanley Cup in 1996, that's right, I believe, mm, I don't think it was Adam Foote. It might have been like Yui Krupp or maybe Oza Lynch. I will try, maybe it was Sackick, I'm not sure. They hiked, that's right, they carried the Stanley Cup up Mount Elbert, the tallest mountain in the centennial state of Colorado. All right, here we go, everybody. Leadville, 10,000 feet above sea level. Uh, I need one of those. Four, three, two, one. Paul Clover with the gun, signaling the official start to our race season.
Smart water. guys, keep Sports it up. Sports drink at the end. Water here, sports drink. Water. water. There you have it. Oh, there he is cooking. I think his name is Noah in first place. But now I'm actually, I probably topped out at about 11,000 feet roughly. And now I'm heading back down into Leadville to catch the start of the half marathon. The heavy half, more like 15 miles rather than 13 miles. So I'm going back down, catch Joseph, and then we'll go back up the mountain. Man, they're breathing. It's uh, it's a different, it's a different ball game when you get above 8,000, 9,000. It just, you just, it, you just breathing. There he is. Hey. Feeling all right? Yep. It's first place, first place right here. First place coming, let's go Joseph. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Snuck up on us. We knew it was going to be close to that 11 o'clock hour. 
We'll get you that official time. Do we have another course record? Potentially. That's a wrap on the Leadville Marathon and Heavy Half. Unbelievable. Did I mention did I mention my brother course record shattered it by five or six minutes? I do believe I will confirm. Um, I think it was uh, David Roach who had it before Joseph snapped it. So that was awesome. Um, good to that. Good to document that on the camera, everybody. Okay, comment of the day, question of the day. Uh, question of the day first, actually. What is the highest elevation you've ever raced at okay maybe it's 10 feet if you're from the netherlands maybe it's uh maybe it's 12,000. maybe i don't even know maybe you know somewhere over in europe so that is the question of the day and listen i grew up down the road you know buena vista bv so leadville we were actually high school rivals but don shields you brought back some memories when you said this from three years ago, okay? Don said, uh, so this is a comment of the day, a little late to the video. I ran a cross country race in 1981 in Buena Vista as a high school freshman. Lots of good memories with high school cross country. And I, Don, thank you for bringing me down memory lane because whenever I come to Leadville, I can't help but think about running the two mile uh, in the indoor track, I think it was like 13 laps or something. I don't even know. It was, a, it was a, no, two mile. No, I think it was 11 laps for one mile. So it must have been 22 laps. Anyway, it was insane. But uh, good memories up here. Thanks to everybody for saying hi, screaming butter my bread and DGR strong at 10,000 feet. Amazing to meet all of you. And uh, we'll we'll be back. We'll be back. Oh man, 2022 Leadville Marathon in the books congrats racers congrats it's a big deal this is a serious race very serious not only the vertical but just the yellow i mean this is the real real deal up here so going all the way up to 13,000 feet is no joke all right we'll toss it of course to three years ago three years ago i filmed this very race right there right there right there all right and i will just mention we do have a running race playlist on this channel you can go find it on the home page all right see beauty work hard and love each other see you tomorrow <laughs>